What is going on everybody? We're back on the Crew 2 and well guys, as you know, I have been covering the best vehicle in each class. So in this video, we're covering the Air Race and then finally guys, we have the Alpha Grand Prix after that. So jumping right into this, what is the best Air Race vehicle? Well, obviously I'm hovering over the Edge 540. Before we get in this, let's talk about the other planes as well. So I currently have my scorebreaker set on the PC-21. I'm not gonna lie, I do not use this plane at all. I just have my set on there so I can immediately switch it to my Edge. And then guys, besides that, this was the plane I used to use before, was the Harman Rocket HR3. This plane was literally insanely good. It was nerfed multiple times because honestly, it had like insanely good handling. It was super fast and it kind of dominated everything. It was kind of a little ridiculous. Um, they did nerf it, still good, but not as good as it used to be. Moving on to the other planes here, guys, I have don't really use the extra 330, honestly. I only use these planes when you absolutely have to in like a race in a summit. Uh, not saying these planes are bad, I just don't use any of them here. Uh, they're probably fun to fly, like the Mustang, stuff like that, but unless you're really going crazy, I wouldn't really bother trying to use them, um, unless you actually have to. Slick Aircraft is actually pretty decent. Uh, this plane's actually pretty good, it's not bad. I use this plane a little bit here and there as well, but I still prefer the Edge over it. And then it comes to the last two planes here, I don't use them too much, but apparently some of these are actually pretty good, like the Waco is apparently pretty decent as well. Moving on! Back to the edge, guys. So what makes this plane my favorite? I'll get back into that in a minute with the little race I'm going to do in New York. But, guys, this plane is really, really good, and I highly recommend going after it. So currently, I am running a chemist set here with Getaway Imperfectionist. If you're wondering, these are the best parts you guys want to run on these. So clicking on this here, Perfectionist, increased gate angle allowance by 7%. What this means is when you guys go through that little gate thing in the air races, you have a better chance of actually getting it uh, you know, completed, getting that minus one on your time there. Uh, very, very helpful, and the nitrous refills by 6% when passing through a gate. Obviously, guys, this is a chemist set, so mine are a little better, but get, having a 4% and 6% will still be absolutely amazing. Um, it's It works really, really well, and getting all that nitrous from this, guys, you can hit nitrous constantly in these races, and you literally don't run out. I'll probably post a video about like the best uh, like specific parts you guys want. I did do that, if you guys are wondering, uh, but maybe go for like skill parts on the airplane class as well because I feel like the skills are just popping up everywhere and every summit has them. Anyway guys, jumping right into it. So I'm going to do this race right now and explain this a little bit more. So jumping right into the race here guys, I am doing the New Jersey race just because this race is really, really easy to farm. And honestly, it's really fun to do as well. So if you guys are looking to get parts quickly, this is the race I recommend doing. So jumping right into it guys, I am running Perfectionist and Gateway like I said. So hitting the nitrous here, you guys will see down there on how much nitrous you get. It's actually a little ridiculous, and it's a little more lenient on grabbing these arrows here when you have perfectionists on your parts. So why am I running the Zipco here, guys? Well, honestly, this plane is really, really good, and I don't see it talked about too much, and I feel like it does deserve some love. So why do I like it so much? Well, this thing has insanely good stability, which I noticed was one of the things they nerfed on the Harman Rocket 3. It's still good, but I feel like it's kind of hard to stabilize now and fly sometimes. Uh, this plane just seems to be much quicker, and I do actually like it a lot more. You can just constantly hit your nitrous here on it and it just doesn't like go crazy or anything like that. It's easy to maneuver and turn quickly to grab the arrows and stuff. And we're here for the best time, obviously, guys, especially for the summits. So having a very, very good plane for these would be good because I have noticed the summits have been having a lot of different air races. Now, if it does have a specific vehicle you have to fly in that race, well, that's a little different. But a lot of the planes can pretty much hold their own for the most part. But if it's no restriction, um, I would 100% say grab the Zipco Edge here because you're not going to regret it. This thing is actually really fast. It's so stable, like I'm barely doing anything with the controller here and this thing is not even moving. It could easily grab one of the arrows, you could spin it easy if you would like. Like it pretty much does it all. And I highly recommend picking this plane up if you don't have it. I was kind of surprised that a lot of people were using it before. Um, I started noting more and more people were using it after the Harman actually got nerfed. So I highly recommend you guys to pick this thing up and try it out. This plane is amazing and you will not regret it. There's really no reason to go on in this video because this plane is just awesome. Pick it up, guys, and definitely try it out, especially with the summits. I know they're a little easier, like I mentioned before, but having a good vehicle for these summits is so important, guys. And getting a go-to vehicle in each class can be great for getting the best time in each event and just grinding in general if you guys are into that. Here are my settings I'm running on the Zivco Edge 540 V3. 